Hi guys, this is Vegas Danny Returns. My name is, uh, of course, Danny, and uh, I'd like to wish everyone a very happy Friday the 13th. As you can see, this is uh, uh, basically a Friday the 13th special. I'm going to show you a couple of pieces, including the, uh, the really lovely 3D poster here by uh, McFarlane, and of course the premium format, the huge premium format by Sideshow. Um, I've had this piece uh, in particular for, for quite a while now, um, around about probably at least 12 months. Um, got it second hand from eBay, like almost every collectible that I buy. Um, fantastic piece, absolutely huge, can barely fit it in the, uh, in the camera position here. Um, got to pan out quite a bit to get the, uh, the figure in. Um, of course it's on a, on a base and it's also on my uh, turntable here, so that's added in a couple of inches. But um, I imagine this is around about 20, 22 inches high and extremely wide. Um, the figure itself of Jason Voorhees, of course, is from the um, Freddy vs. Jason movie. Um, and it also obviously comes with a, um, a nice little uh, sketch and it was numbered on the base. I'm not going to show you that. Um, actually, I might do. Let me see if I can take this off. Carefully place him. see really heavy base there we go that's your little sketch there pretty cool number 1042 out of 1250 so not a particularly great figure but um, nonetheless sculpted by Brian Dooley and a fantastic job in my opinion as I say the base is very heavy very heavy and um, some got some nice features in the base it's basically obviously uh, meant to be wood flooring um, and you've got the, uh, the wood slats here as well as the uh, various graining and the uh, the nails in the boards which is pretty cool um, he, Brian Dooley also sculpted the Freddy Freddy Krueger version um, which is uh, obviously a, a piece that's supposed to go with Jason here. Um, I do have that, so I look forward to uh, another review coming up shortly on the Freddy Krueger piece. But uh, I'm going to show you this guy spinning around here. Really lovely weathering in the, on the jacket. Um, obviously mixed media, so we've got the, uh, the cargo jacket, um, various slashes and uh, weathering throughout the jacket. You've got a knitted woolen jumper that he's that he's wearing underneath, and a what looks to be a black t-shirt. Can't quite see that on the uh, on the camera, unfortunately. Um, obviously, polystone. The mask is polystone. You can remove it, which I will do shortly. And uh, again, very well tailored as always. The trousers again, a little bit weathered. Fantastic boots. These are all sculpted. You've got the uh, the laces there. These boots really nice and then of course you've got the machete blood-stained machete the machete comes out of the hand here for, for safe packaging um, various slashes and uh, wear and tear on his uh, on his head and his skin really pretty gruesome got a strand of hair which is pretty gross 
again, you know, very imposing figure. Looks fantastic when I uh, have this displayed at Halloween, which I did last Halloween. What I'm going to do here is remove the, uh, the mask. The mask is polystone. Very good quality, lovely sculpt. Fits perfectly. We can see this ugly son of a bitch. There we go. Um, as seen um, in part four, five, six, he's, he's slowly deteriorating his face over the, the franchise. Um, various guises. I think I remember part seven. He's almost like Skeletor from He Man. He's very much uh, a beast. But uh, this is pretty much a deformed face. It's pretty pretty well sculpted. There we go. Let's pan out. Um, quite quite hard to find. You'll still find him certainly in the states. I've seen on the eBay US for about four hundred dollars. Again, I picked this up second hand for a fantastic price, and um, I've had him for quite a while. He's packed away usually, but I thought being that it's Friday the thirteenth, I'll get the big fella out. Show him off. Um, and to go with this, let me show you this brilliant collectible here. Let's try and get the, the best possible light. This is the um, 3D pop culture posters, uh, a number of them made. Um, and this one is uh, Friday the 13th, of course. It's almost like a giant video cover, VHS cover. And um, obviously, you slide it. Onto your uh, onto your shelf, and it can be wall mounted. But as you can see, the detail here, it's a 3D effect of the original poster, and it's absolutely spot on. Um, I've studied it, and every little nook and cranny, every little aspect, has been sculpted. As you can see, try and get a decent angle here. The knife, the knife sticks out of the poster. And the rest is uh, obviously you're going into the 3D picture rather than the picture coming out. The headline, they were warned, they are doomed and on Friday the 13th nothing will save them. There we go. 24 hour nightmare of terror. They've even got at the bottom here, which the camera can't pick up unfortunately, they've even got the, uh, the little uh, number, which uh, is the authentic signature for most... Uh, original US one sheets and the uh, even the full cast and crew on the bottom there fantastic piece this is quite hard to find um, again with most collectibles collectibles you've just got to got to sit back trawl the uh, the eBay sites and um, Amazon and things like that and just sit tight for your opportunity for these things this one is pretty rare um, so I uh, I do certainly recommend trying to pick up these 3D pictures. You've got the um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Jaws is brilliant. That's probably my favourite. Rocky, uh, Robocop, Alien. I've got all of these upstairs. So um, I'm going to bring them down and show you the full selection. They look really top class. Even if you're just a DVD collector, these will look fantastic on top of the shelf. And the one thing missing from the video, I do have an original one sheet. For Friday the 13th that I paid quite a bit for um, about six months ago I cannot find it because uh, I've put it upstairs with the rest of the posters and there's about 30 or 40 tubes of posters upstairs so I thought I'd just show you these two pieces um, and I will certainly show you an update of my poster collection and uh, and get that one in Friday the 13th original US one sheet so there we go hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief look at my Jason Voorhees premium format and my Friday the 13th 3D poster lots more videos to come guys got plenty of time to, to do videos at the moment so I'm going to be trawling through quite a few of my bits and bobs so until next time you take care have a great week enjoy Friday the 13th don't go down to the woods mm -hmm.